All right, guys, welcome back to the AMA. Today we have a really nice topic to go through, which is gonna be squatting. Obviously, it's uh, an exercise that I'm very, very familiar with. I spent a lot of my bodybuilding career using squats as a tool to create a good pair of legs for the bodybuilding stage. We thought it'd be a good time to take you through squat technique, um, squat variations, and just some other pointers that would be very helpful with you trying to perfect your squat and helping you get the most out of your squat. Um, because I'm just getting back into squatting now myself because I've been doing some rehab work. So it's a perfect time to do it basically. If you're someone that finds yourself not able to actually free bar squat, um, there's obviously machines out there that are very good alternatives. And also there's other ways of doing it, some tools we can implement, whether it be a heel wedge, pair of squat shoes, etc., etc., that can allow you to get better range of motion, even if you are someone that is limited on that factor. So I'm gonna head over to the squat rack now. I'm gonna get myself set up under there and then we'll talk about some of the things that I do while I'm getting into the squat, whether it be mindset or just set up itself. So you wanna pull the bar down, try and pull the shoulder blades together to keep that back strong. Because if you open that back, it goes weak. And that is a compromised position. When you squat with that, the first thing that's gonna give out is not your legs, it's gonna be your back. And if your back gives out in a squat, you're asking for a lot of trouble. Um, so like I say, when you get into this squat, Foot setup's obviously really important, but first and foremost, it's about getting your retracted shoulder blades down and back so that bar's nice and sturdy on you. Lead with your taints and lead with your groin. So you have to kind of think about private area onto your heels. So if you think there's a line from your private area driving down to your heels, that's what you're trying to create, that, that straight path, okay? What you don't want is that your, your, your never region heading away from your knees, okay? So they should be in line. So we're driving down. And I'm trying to keep my, basically trying to keep my genitalia <laughs> in line with my heels, but keeping that chest up as much as I can. My head's here. My eyes are actually looking there. They're not looking there, but I am keeping my shoulders down and back. But the way that my head is sitting now just allows for maximum strength in the hole. Because as I press up, my chest is gonna lift and so is my head, but they're gonna synergistically lift. They should stay basically on the same path together. And as I lower, they should be doing the same thing. There'll be a lot of people out there that have done their um, level three in personal training and done the ACSM guidelines and it probably tell them to keep their chin up, but that's something that just isn't the case. Experience outweighs textbook, I'm afraid. And that is just the truth. If flexibility is totally out the window on the shoulders, you can use, a safety bar, also known as a hat field. This is designed for people that don't have that mobility in their shoulders. I know I'm talking a lot, but a squat has quite a lot to it. I know on the outside, it seems like such a basic movement. Oh, you just come in the gym, you put a bar on your shoulders and you just bounce up and down. It really isn't that simple. There is a lot behind it. You want to, again, make sure that you're not keeping a loose upper back, like relaxed. You've got to think, oh yeah, it's re yeah, it is resting on my shoulders, but that doesn't mean I relax my upper back. So hands on here, either low or high, depending on what feels better for you. You can even push forward a little bit. You just want to make sure you just keep that chest high. Down and up. The last alternative form of squat you could perform is a front squat, which is probably the most difficult of the three and the one that I would be least likely to do in bodybuilding scenario. The way I used to get into one of these, I'd squat one leg in front of the other, bar close to the neck, arms dead in front, step up and forward. Once those arms are set there, you can then cross them or you can keep them straight. So you've really got to fight for that shoulder up and keep that back strong. Great exercise, but it does ask a lot of the body. Very, very good for quad recruitment. It's the one that allows you to keep the most straight taint to ankle path. This is why I'm gonna point out one more thing, which is basically a way to emulate that kind of path without actually doing a, a regular squat. So let's look at one of my favorite machines that you can use in most gyms. That is a hack squat. 